And so this seminar series fits into a wide organisational journey. And you can see our vision for what we want to achieve on the screen here. And we believe, and the research shows, that in workplaces where people can feel truly themselves and be truly themselves, then patient care dramatically improves. Staff also feel more loyal and much more engaged with their employers, and that works across a number of different sectors. So for us, <coughs> the bottom there, to be a Stonewall Top 100 employer, is a step along that road. It is definitely not a sort of tick box exercise and, a, and an end in itself. Stonewall is a really useful tool for us to monitor how we're doing and what we're doing and then fine-tune it to make sure that the experience of working here gets better all the time. And that's really key for what we're, we're trying to do. And obviously we wouldn't be doing this if there wasn't a challenge involved. Um, and you can see there some stats, some national statistics about the difference between LGBT staff, LGBTQ staff and heterosexual staff. And how people interact in organisations. Now, I think it's fair to say that our local data does mirror the national data. Um, some people don't feel as free as we would perhaps all hope that they would be to fully express themselves. And there are some unfortunate common interactions that are, are seen across the Trust. So we're here to change all of that. Um, however, from the top down, it is really, really important to say that we are committed, from Dame Marianne Griffiths at the very top, our chief executive, committed to being a diverse, inclusive, open and fair organisation for everybody. And the good news, and there's always good news, let's face it, is that we're not starting from a zero baseline. We are actually making really good progress already to deliver um, some of the pieces we want to for our Stonewall submission later on in the year. We're championing diversity across recruitment. Our first inclusion conference back in February, and looking around the room, quite a few people um, were here for that, was a, a roaring success. It was an amazing day, amazing afternoon. And this seminar was actually an idea that came from that, and then we picked up with, with Harry, and it all kind of came beautifully together. And the CQC, the Care Quality Commission, were really impressed when they came last year um, in the difference in culture across the Trust, and actually saw fit to mention it in their final report. Moving forward, we have some plans. So as we journey towards our Stonewall Top 100 status, there are 50 different projects or initiatives that are, are running to help us improve the experience of working here. I've got to be honest, it was a little scary when I counted them at the end of last week. Knew there was a lot on, didn't realise there was 50, and it's only 101 days until submission deadline. But hey, we're working on it. And to be fair, some of those are submit. That's actually kind of one of the, the tasks we're working on. Um, others are going to be with us for a much longer period as we work towards different goals and also as we continue the great work that's already been started across the Trust. A couple of the highlights are on screen here for uh, some of our plans. And Nick, who's sitting over there, or myself, will be delighted to have a chat with anyone about them in any more detail. So just kind of grab us at the end or drop us an email. So what do we want from today? Just uh, it's always good to have a couple of outcomes from, from the event. And again, very th simple three outcomes up on screen. After the event, we're going to send out an evaluation. I say we, it's the royal we. Frankly, Harry's going to send out the evaluation. Um, and it would really help us if you can give us some open and honest feedback so that we know where we need to fine-tune these events and where we can make them better for yourselves and also for people who are going to come to the next one. So look out, look out for that on email very, very soon. And finally, because quite frankly it's almost enough from me, we'd love to keep the conversation going as well. So the LGBTQ network here at the Trust can be reached uh, on Twitter. We do like Twitter. Uh, BSUH underscore LGBTQ. You can also email um, us, and again, the royal us, Nick, in fact, um, bsuh.lgbt.forummailbox at nhs.net, which trips quite neatly off the tongue. I'm sure you'll agree, but do seriously, do send us, do send us the Royal Us, Nick, um, an email. We'd absolutely love to hear from you again. Any comments, questions, reflections from today, we'd absolutely love, uh, love to hear from them.